Hi there, my name is Kate Thomas with Owl Canyon Forest Services. The date is March 14th, 2013. It is Echo's ninth day of training with me here at OCHS. And this will be his second day of being ridden at a walk. Here I am doing some groundwork in preparation for riding him. I like to see how he responds to me, how much energy does it take for me to get him to walk and trot, and will he come back down to a walk, and will he stop for me when I ask him to? Will he disengage his hindquarters nicely for me? Is he paying attention to me, or is he distracted? Um, I'll also move his shoulders around, see how light he is, or how dull he is responding to my cues, and make sure that he's paying attention enough for me to feel safe when I get on his back. While this is only my second time getting on Echo, his owner has been on him half a dozen times already. He's already used to the saddle, he's already used to someone getting on his back, so he's already very confident with this whole procedure, so I do not spend a lot of time getting him prepared for this because I've, he's already had that done for him. Here I switched from using the halter and lead line to pull his head around to using the reins attached to his bit. I've, you could see that he was pretty sticky before and giving his head and he didn't really want to. So I found that I had more control using the bit even though I didn't have to use it very hard. In fact, I put very little pressure on his mouth when I cue him to do anything with the bit. The main thing with Echo is just to keep moving his feet. He likes to get sticky and stop. So I'm asking with the outside rain just to keep going around the outside because he has more room to do so. But if he does fall towards the inside, I let him and then I'll ask him again to go back out to the outside. And this is just kind of the starting of his steering and keeping forward movement going. So here I'm asking him to stop by just relaxing my body and I quit riding. 
and he stopped immediately, so I rewarded him for that because that's exactly what I wanted. So Echo had a pretty good first day um, for trotting. He's a little sticky going into that trot and it takes a lot of motivation to get him into that trot. So the next thing I'll be working on is keeping him in the trot, which is fine. It shouldn't take too much to get him to that point where he's a little more willing to go into the trot without speeding into the trot. So we have a very good start for today. I'm very pleased. As you see here, Echo tripped on his hind legs. It was due to the previous farrier not trimming his feet properly. So I gave Echo about a week off of training. My farrier came out on March 20th to do a corrective trimming job on him. And the next time that I work with him will be day 10, which is on March 26th. I am asking him to move his hindquarters around. This is the first time that I've asked him to do so under saddle. And in spite of him tripping, I kind of figured it was just his hooves and that he would be fine to do just a little bit more movement without injuring himself. So this is the end of day two. Um, thank you all for watching and be sure to check out the upcoming videos of Echo's training progress.